What's up? What's up, dude? How's it going? You must be new around here. I haven't, I haven't seen you around here before. Put her there. Too slow. Got you. I'm just razzing you, dude. I'm just razzing you. Nice to meet you. Me? Who am I? My name's Greg Pussy. You are what you eat. <laughs> uh, it's a classic. I'm just joshing you, man. My name's Greg Dick. You are what you eat. Got you again. <laughs> uh, you're all right. You're not too bad. You want a drink? This is a, this is a 1967 vintage. Smell that, dude. Your whiskey man. My old man taught me to appreciate a classic brew. <laughs> I'm gonna teach you a thing or two, dude. Because no offense, you don't look like someone who's winning in life. I got the keys. All right. I'm a lucky guy. Is it nature or nurture? Frick knows, man. I got them both. Everyone in this town, everyone knows the name Greg Pussy Dick. Everyone in this town knows me because I'm always out hitting the bars, hitting the clubs, and I'm a pickup artist. And I'm gonna teach you a few simple techniques, and now you're gonna learn how to do what I do. And you know, you're welcome. What are you after, bro? You gay? I'm not judging. It's 2019, man. I'll teach you anything. This stuff works on women or men. Me personally, I'm not gay, but sometimes I'll go out and pull men just to test whether my methods work and they always do. I don't want to be excluding gay people. So you gotta check it works on men too, and it does, it works on men. Women or men, here's your tip. First of all, number one, you pick a distinctive name. You think I was born Greg Pussy Dick? <laughs> you make me laugh. You're 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 funny, kid. My real name's real simple. <laughs> my real name's just <laughs> I was born, I was born Greg Warner. Who's ever gonna be chasing a tail with a name like that? Not me. So right out the gate, I picked something that grabs attention. What's your name? Weak. I've got a few suggestions. Tim Fizz, Bucky the Kid, Warhammer, Clashed. Those are just a few off the dome. Number two, card tricks. Card tricks are important for a number of reasons. If you can do card tricks, the girls might think you're a magician. Equally, they might think you're a professional poker player. What do magicians and professional poker players have in common? They're rich, man. Which one am I? I can't tell you, that's a professional secret. <laughs> I'm just joshing you, buddy. I'm a pickup artist, I told you that already. You gotta start paying attention, take notes, man. If you wanna learn it, if you wanna get anywhere in this town, if you ever wanna be swimming in all, all the all the pussy or dick you could ever dream of, you gotta, you gotta sharpen up. The quickest way to woo anyone in a club, in a bar, Show them a card trick. Blows their socks off. I'm gonna show you one right now. I'm gonna shuffle this deck. I'll demonstrate for you. I promise this has never happened before. You get the idea, okay? I'll just do a bit of this, okay? But you get the idea. The cards would have been very well shuffled. Shuffled up, then you cut them, then you fan them out to your prospective bow, and you say, pick two cards, pick any two cards. Which two are you picking? This one? Did you say? This one? And and which other one? We'll say, and you also picked this one, these front two here. And you can see for a fact I haven't looked at these. But I can tell you with confidence, this is the eight and nine of hearts. <laughs> I nailed it again. That's a professional secret. How'd I pull that one off? You're gonna have to pay for the full course. I'll give you a taster for free because you're new in town. But you're gonna have to sign up to my Patreon if you wanna know how I knew that these were the frickin' eight, nine of hearts. Card trick's not your thing? Don't worry about it, man. I've got multiple different avenues that you can explore. And I'm gonna go over one more today, and then if you wanna hear even more, you have to look on the Patreon. See, I nailed it that time. Negging. You know what negging is, bro? You ever negged a chick or man before? This is some elite level stuff. You insult them, and they start to second guess themselves. Holy shit. I came out of the house dressed like a bag of garbage today. I must have not looked in the mirror, because I look like a, a, a stupid oaf. What's wrong with me? What's up with my life? Where did it all go wrong? Am I ever gonna make a living out of being a pickup artist? Will I ever find love? My name's Greg Pussy Dick. You know, you start to wonder those kind of things about yourself. And then all of a sudden, you're gonna accept the lowest bidder, if you know what I mean. Suddenly, you're gonna be jumping at the chance to go home with a four out of 10. Before, if you were settling for, for Prince Charming, now you're gonna go for a Shrek. And you might even fuck a donkey. You wanna neg something that stands out the most. But not if it's something they're gonna get insulted for a lot of the time anyway. This is real science behind it. Say it, say it, say a handsome dude comes in and he's got a big nose. Uh, guess what? He probably got bullied for that for years in high school. I know I certainly picked on my fair share of kids. 
So you don't want to mention it. He's got, he'll be sick of it. It's too obvious it's been done. But say he's wearing a slightly unusual pair of shoes. Say he's like me and he has the nuts to pull off something a little bit daring, like a croc. Then you go over to him, you say, hey, hey, fuckwad. Do those, do those things light up? You look like a toddler wearing those. This guy's gonna be, he's <laughs> gonna be questioning his whole freaking life. He was already wondering whether the shoes were too ballsy move. Now you've broken him. Now you've crushed his spirit. And then you say, hey, let me buy you a drink and then maybe we can go to the disabled bathroom and pull a swapsies. Next thing you know, you're wearing his shoes. You look like a clown. He's shoved his crippled little feet into your size sixes. And you walk home from the club bleeding together. Mission accomplished. That's just one tip, that's just one example. I'm gonna quiz you, I'm gonna see if you're paying attention. You're in the club and you see a girl and she's got a very pronounced overbite and she's also dressed in all red. What are you gonna nag her for? You go up to this lady and you say, hey, wench, you look like Satan herself. The devil wears Prada? No. How about the devil wears nada? Come back to my place and we'll make those clothes disappear. Did I tell you I was a magician? Pick a card, any card. Hold on, I haven't shuffled them. 